Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for tuning in to today's vlog. It is Tuesday morning and I am just about to leave the house to go on a little exciting trip and we're going to stay at Arbor Club and it looks so, so nice um, and I'm really looking forward to like a few days away actually. I'm just about to leave and I thought that we'll start off this vlog by showing you my travel outfit. I am not a light pack and also the weather looks like really changeable like it looks really nice today and Thursday but then tomorrow it doesn't and I just didn't want to be caught short you know I didn't want to have loads of summer clothes and then be like really cold and vice versa and we've got quite a lot of activities and things so I felt like I actually needed quite a lot of different things so my cases are from Antler I've been using their cases for years now and I absolutely love them. I've even had to open the expander on the big one. Um, and I've just bought this little vanity to pop on top and it's got a little elastic bit that goes around the back. I love that. The only thing I've just realised is normally I put my handbag on the top of the case but now I can't really do that but I just have to carry that so it's not a problem. Route this morning, we are going from Paddington to Totnes and then we've got a taxi from Totnes to the hotel. So travel outfit is, I've gone with my Frankie Shop blazer. I just picked this up from the dry cleaners yesterday. Um, it had loads of food stains from when we went to Italy. Um, I tried to get them out myself, but I couldn't. So I just thought, I don't want to ruin this blaze, I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners. I've got my Cos stripy tee on underneath. Oh, I'll show you these in more detail, but I've got some new pearl jewellery. I know you guys love pearls as much as I do. Um, so I've got some new earrings, necklace, um, and I've got a few other bits. So when, when I get there later, I'll show you those in more detail. These are my trousers I got last year from Forth and Reckless. I love travelling in these because they're so comfortable and they've got a really nice like elasticated waistband. And then I've just got on some Birkenstocks on my feet. And then I've got my Loewe basket bag. We have arrived in Devon and checked in to the Harbour Beach Club in Salcombe. The weather is lovely today, um, we have just checked into our rooms and we are about to go for some lunch and then I think we're paddle boarding. We were supposed to do that tomorrow, but I think it's going to rain tomorrow so they've moved it to today. But I've got literally five minutes before we need to meet back up again, but I wanted to give you a room tour before I unpack and mess up this gorgeous room. So you come in here. And first of all, I've got this amazing view, but over here is the biggest, squishiest, oh, like that bed just looks so, so comfortable. And then we've got this lovely balcony out here. I mean, what a view to wake up to. There's a little like mini sofa and deck chair. I'm gonna have my morning cup of tea looking out to the beach here. Oh, it feels so nice, doesn't even feel like we are in England. Um, we just had some drinks over on the terrace here, it's so lovely. The hotel only opened last year, so it's still quite new and definitely still has that new smell and everything's very clean and fresh and the staff have already been amazing. So I'm really excited to kind of explore it more. I love that there's lots of mirrors in here. I often find that hotels just, just don't have enough mirrors. Over here is just like a closet area, um, love these doors, that's one thing, the interiors are amazing. Um, and then in here we've got a lovely double sink, um, love the terrazzo tiles, we've got a big like walk-in shower there, sinks, more mirrors, and then a lovely desk area here. Um, and he did say that around five o'clock they come around all the rooms with like fresh ice and um, lemon so you can have like your G&T sat out on the balcony. I mean, I don't like G&T, but I'll uh, take a soft drink. But what, what a dream life. This, well, I've been thinking about it for a long time, but it's really confirmed that I would love to live somewhere by the sea. It's been 
been a change of plan to the plan. The tide is going out, um, so we need to paddleboard first. So I think they've got wetsuits for us, but I've just popped on. Um, this swimsuit actually is is really old from H&M, but it's like a Hunza G replica. Just got like a thick linen shirt, and then I've just put some little sweatshirt shorts over it. I washed and blow dried my hair this morning, so I really don't want to get it wet. So I've gone like, I don't know if you can see, but I've done like two, two ponies in it, and hopefully it won't get wet. I was gonna wear my cap, but it might fall in. So let's see how this goes. Jess and I have both turned up for, um, the paddle boarding in basically exactly the same outfit. Just, Just like different, different colours. Different colour palette. We've both gone swimsuits. I've gone shirt. for a more um You've gone what? More I don't know, more I don't can't say it's colourful. Nice. Where's your shirt from? My shirt um is from H M. Love it. And yeah. you've we've both got H M shorts. Shorts and Birkenstocks on. We're just deciding whether to paddle board or kayak, but we're gonna go paddle boarding this tide is already going out so i think we're only going to go out for a little bit um but yeah wish us luck they're ready they like cool they mean you mean business we i love it just unpacked and had a little refresh and now we are heading out um, to dinner shortly. Briefly showed you um, my new Astrid and Miu necklace earlier um, but I just wanted to show you them up close because they're so gorgeous. I'm not wearing them together tonight but I just wanted to show you both of them. So the one I had on earlier was this one. It's like all different size pearls and then it's got like a T-bar um, fastening there. It's so beautiful. I really love that. But then tonight I'm going to wear um, this one. So it's like a nice chunky gold chain with a little pearl and it is quite long but you can adjust this so you can like wear it in different ways but I'm just like pulling it up to higher and then um, letting it like drop down at the back of it more so it's a bit shorter there. And then also from, it's from their Serenity collection, I also got these gorgeous gold hoops um, with these little pearls on. I had some like this from And Other Stories a few years ago, but like the gold is really tarnished and um, yeah, I just wanted to get like an updated pair. They're really, really nice and they're not heavy. The Missima hoops that I wear like all the time are really quite like chunky and heavy, but these are nice and like light. But I feel like this is deja vu of me getting ready for my birthday barbecue last week. Um, if you haven't watched last week's vlog, I vlogged my birthday week, um, like, and other things, but um, I wore, basically, I can't get this earring in, I need to go to the mirror, but I wore this um, set last week as well. I'm loving it, it's just like really easy, really comfortable. You can wear this like day or evening, but anyway, I'm gonna carry on getting ready. We're actually heading to the sister hotel um, of the Harbour Beach Club tonight for dinner. It's also in Salcombe, I think, but I think it's called Salcombe Beach Club, something like that. I'll show you, obviously, later anyway. I am ready for the evening. I've just popped a black blazer over the top because it is starting to get a bit, a bit chilly, so just in case. I've actually just used the nicest perfume. I had it last summer as well, um, and I put it away to like save for the summer. It's uh, so bright. From Jo Loves, and it's Mango Thai Lime. It's very like fruity and zesty, um, but with like a little bit of sweetness. I don't know, I, I'm rubbish at describing scents, but it's quite unusual and it's really nice.
Wednesday afternoon now. I'm looking very shiny. <laughs> I used, um, I actually covered my face in the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I think it's called, under the um, Beautiful Skin Foundation and it's made my skin just a bit glow, like, I don't know, is it too glowy? Maybe I put too much on. Um, but it has been a little bit drizzly here in Salcombe this morning. So we had um, a nice breakfast and then we used the spa and just like did a little bit of swimming and relaxing. Then we've just come back to our rooms to get ready because we are due to head out on a boat trip this afternoon. As I said, it is looking drizzly and wet out there, but the boat trip is still going ahead. So I haven't really bothered doing my hair because it's just gonna get wet. Um, I think they've got a uh, waterproof jacket and wellies for us. So yeah, we're, due, we're supposed to be going to a little cove for a beach picnic. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go in the rain, but I'm always up for an adventure. Outfit this afternoon is mint blazer, white tee. Oh, if I move this, I can show you my shoes. Uh, white jeans, I've got Birkenstocks on. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And then I've just chucked a stripy jumper in here that I can like put on if it gets a bit chilly. So as you just saw my outfit there, obviously when I turn up, this is not what I had in mind, but it was actually so fun. Here was my outfit instead of my mint blazer. <laughs> So we went out with a lady called Ali and she showed us all around Salcombe Harbour and we went out in a rib boat uh, from her company which was called Sea and Shore. She was such an amazing host and told us loads of really interesting facts and she was just so much fun and a few people were a bit nervous and she put everyone at ease. Um, so here we are just kind of going around nice and slow around the town. There were so many gorgeous seafront houses and my dream is just to be able to walk Bertie every day on the beach. Um, but these were a little bit out of my price range. Um, but yeah, it's just such a stunning place. And then once we finished our boat trip, we finished up with a picnic. So we are now on a gorgeous walk um, around Southampton. Um We have been through like fields and gorgeous woodland and now we are out on the coast which is just so beautiful and as you saw earlier it was raining this morning but now it's just come out so sunny and blue sky and it's, it's just so gorgeous and so, so pretty. Good morning everyone, it is around 5.20, we are up bright and early this morning for some sunrise yoga, you can see the sun is just about to come up here, it is a lovely and clear morning so it's actually so nice that we will be able to see the sunset, sunrise even, gosh I'm still, still half asleep. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna shut that curtain. <laughs> As you can see, it is a gorgeous morning. Um, it was so nice, actually. It's one of those things that when I first woke up, I was like, oh no, why did I agree to do this? But then after, it actually feels so nice. And now it's like half six and I'm wide awake and ready to go. So it definitely 
but it definitely wakes you up and well I like to think I probably wouldn't but if I lived by the sea like in the summer that would be the most dreamy thing to do beach sunrise yoga every morning I'm back in the room now and I've made myself a cup of tea so I'm just gonna sit on the balcony and drink that a local small business around here must have seen that we were like staying here and so kindly um, dropped some of their products off for us at the hotel. It's a local candle company. It's called the Salcom Candle Company. Um, I really love the packaging and these are all um, soy wax and hand poured here in Salcom. And we've got two different um, scents. There's Dark Opium and Hope Cove Seashells. Hope Cove is one of the little coves around here. I have already smelt these and they smell absolutely amazing. Um, so I just wanted to share them on here in case you fancied picking up some lovely um, Devon candles. The bed here is unbelievably comfortable. Like honestly, the most, like the best hotel bed I've ever slept in. Look how like thick it is and it's so squishy. Um, the pillows were also amazing and I'm so fussy with pillows. So I was actually looking, um, I was looking at the pillows. <laughs> and they're from the white company i really struggled to find nice pillows and they were so so comfortable and also this is absolutely ludicrous but i need to know what mattress topper is on here i mean look at this mattress topper look how thick that is i need i need this at home oh my goodness honestly <laughs> it was so comfortable and oh my gosh to have this huge bed all to myself was amazing here we go i found i found the tag for the mattress topper it's heritage by Mitra and it's called Duke. Just come down for breakfast um, and I thought I'd actually show you the front of the hotel because I don't think I've shown you that yet. So there are 50 rooms in the hotel. Um, it was built last year and then it is right on the seafront which is just gorgeous and it really makes me miss Bertie and I just, I just want to live here and walk him on the beach every morning. This is my room just here. I'm room number 16. If you are looking for a little UK break, I've just really, really loved this so much. And I've loved my room. It's been like the perfect view and it's um, it's a bit bigger than some of the others that I've seen. So if you're coming to stay, try and ask for room 16 right on the front there. from Devon now and just had like the dreamiest few days in Salcombe. I think through Covid it really made me realise actually how many beautiful places there are actually in the UK. I would always just immediately think to leave the UK for a holiday but actually there's so so many gorgeous places um, in the UK. I don't know when in the future, probably not yet, but I do think at some point in my life I want to live like really close to a beach. Um, as I said earlier in the vlog, just to like wake up and walk Bertie along the beach every day. Like that's just got to do something good for your soul. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, also the hotel isn't dog friendly, um, but the terrace and 
outdoor restaurant is. If you're in the area with your dog, you can stop by there for some lunch or drinks. Although the Harbour Beach Club isn't dog friendly, the Salcombe Harbour Hotel is dog friendly. They have some dog friendly rooms. A huge thank you to the Harbour Beach Club for having us for the last couple of nights. It's been so, so lovely and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching what like a mini UK break could have to offer. Of course, I will leave all of the hotel details linked down below. Um, it is Saturday now and hopefully this vlog is going live tomorrow. I am heading into London to have lunch with my friend. It's going to be a gorgeous day. I've got this really nice knitted set on from Mango and I just, I don't know if I'm going to get absolutely boiling. However, there is like all the, these little holes so I'm thinking... It could be breezy, but it also could be super sweaty. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.